who doesn't love a room lit by candlelight? Sue Dietrich is the owner of Tin Rooster in East Northport, and she's going to show us how to turn spindles like these into beautiful candlesticks. Farmhouse chic is very popular right now. Now for our three C's. Can I even do this? Hmm. We give it a difficulty level of a two. Commitment? It'll take around three hours with dry time, and it'll cost you about $20. You can find spindles like these at Home Depot. First, you're going to drill a hole in the top with a one-inch drill bit to fit your candle. Then screw it onto a regular piece of wood. Next, we paint. Sue is using chalk paint. Then we distress the wood to get this look. First, spray on some water to help thin the paint out. Then start painting. Thin layers, and you know, one thing about chalk paint, it is so forgiving. If you make a mistake, you just paint over again. Leave about two hours in between coats. You only need two coats. Once it's dry, it's time to distress. You can use sandpaper or a sanding block like this. It comes up very easily, okay? You're barely touching it. There's no right or wrong here. Distress it as much or as little as you like. Next, wipe it down with a wet paper towel. You get a wet paper towel and you just take off all the loose um, blue is coming off. And the final step is this low luster varnish that we just put on one or two thin coats and it's supposed to take away that chalky feel of the paint. In the end, you have this chic looking candlestick. I'm Christina Ensinga and that's this week's Escape to Home. Pretty cool there. Well, you can document the progress of your DIY project and send it to us. Go to news12.com and click on the Escape to Home link, and maybe we'll feature you on a segment.